ever just like sit in your room in complete silence and just debate every single thing in your life? Because like same. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Katie. Today we're gonna be doing my everyday makeup tutorial. It's been really requested, so I kind of just wanted to obviously do it for you. Uh, I actually do have another video where I'm using only drugstore products, but obviously on a daily basis I don't only lean towards drugstores, so I thought that it would be fun to show you what I would use on a daily basis, so that's what this video is about. All of the products I'm using on my face will be linked in the description box, so make sure to go ahead and check that out. Let's just get into it. Okay, so I've already pinned my hair back, and the first thing I'm gonna do is go in with primer. So I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, and I'm just gonna apply that in the places where my pores are obviously big and where I get the oiliest. Okay, so once that's done, I like to go in with brows. So I just like to spoolie out my brows. And then I will go in with my brow product and I use the, like this e.l.f. product. And it's like a dip brow with a shadow and like just like a, like a gel consistency. And then I take my eyebrow brush and I just apply it and fill out like my natural eyebrow shape once I'm done with the eyebrow pomade I'm gonna go in with some eyebrow gel so this is the essence make me brow um, it has filling fibers. Uh, I think it's in the darkest color. It looks like this. And I just brush it out through my eyebrows. Once that's done, um, I'm just gonna conceal my eyebrows. So I use just like a regular like foundation. You can use concealer, you can use whatever. You can use your foundation and I'm just gonna conceal them. And then I'm just gonna brush them out again to get rid of like the harsh line on top. And then I'm gonna take my beauty blender that I've already wet and I'm just gonna blend in that concealer at the bottom. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with foundation. So I usually use um, the Too Faced Perfect Peach foundation in the shade Snow. Um, it's oil free, it's 14 hour wear, it's really oil controlling and photo friendly. I've been using this for a really, really long time, but I like to switch between this one and the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Fresh Wear. Um, this one I find is a lot more coverage, so if you're someone that likes more of a heavier coverage, I would suggest to use this one. But for an everyday look, I do like to go a little bit lighter, so I'm going to go in with my Too Faced foundation. So I have really like oily, um, acne prone skin. So this foundation has literally been my best friend for like a few years now. Um, I would go to work and do a bunch of stuff and it still did not like um, make my skin super oily as like other foundations. So I really, really, really love this one. It's really great. So next I'm gonna go in with some concealer and I'm gonna be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in like the lightest color they have. And I'm gonna apply that to my face. I 
feels so weird. I haven't worn makeup in a few days, so it feels like so odd to be applying it again to like do nothing. But it's fine. It's nice to feel good sometimes. And again, I always have to put it in this area of my nose because I have a lot of veins that like to come through and on my chin. And I conceal my blemishes, which are always on my chin as well. But yeah, so then I'm just gonna blend it out. So after foundation and concealer, I will apply a powder. So the powder that I use is also the powder that goes with the foundation. So this is the Peach Perfect, just um, mattifying loose setting powder and it's infused with peach and sweet fig milk this thing smells like a dream it smells like candy i love this every time i apply it i really like i want to eat it. it smells so good and it just looks like this and it's just like a loose powder and i apply it all over the face with um just a regular like fluffy powder brush and i usually like to apply like a generous amount because i am very oily again And another thing I really love to do is I like taking an even smaller powder brush and go in with the product and kind of focus on where I get the oiliest, just to add like extra, I don't know, extra concentrated amount of powder. I don't know if that makes sense, but it helps a lot with oil control. I find it does. So I literally always get the oiliest around my nose and over here on my chin. So that's where I put the most amount of product. So the next thing I really like to do is apply bronzer. So I use two different bronzers. So I use the Maybelline City Bronzer first. And then to deepen up my contour, I go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in medium. I'll apply them both on different brushes. So I'm gonna start with the Maybelline City Bronzer. And I'm gonna take this like kind of angled fluffy brush and apply that. And just start to bronze my face. So I kind of go in with the City Bronzer more for like a bronzed look and then I will go into the Too Faced Bronzer just to get those like sharper lines that I would like to have. Just to sculpt my face a bit more. I apply a pretty generous amount. I do like a very bronzy look. And then with a small more like precise brush, I'll go in with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil and just create the lines that I really want. And then once that's done, obviously I'm not gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna take a really big fluffy brush and blend everything out. Once that's done with my bronzer, I will go in with blush. So I take my favorite, favorite blush ever, Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. And I just take a blush brush and apply it to my cheeks. And I do like to apply a lot of blush. I am one of the girls that really, really loves a lot of blush. Obviously, if you don't like blush, you don't have to do this. This is just personally how I do my makeup. Um, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. I know a lot of people are not a fan, but I'm a fan. And I like to put it on the bridge of my nose as well. Just to get that cute little sun-kissed look so then i apply my highlight so today i felt like using my milk makeup uh flex highlighter it's in the color lit i think and it's kind of like just like this bronzy gold color and yeah i used it a little bit i uh, and I'll just go in with a highlight brush. Um, I know a lot of people like to wet their brushes and apply highlight, but just personally for me, everyday look, I like to just do like more of like a, a nice sheen um, when I go out, which 
I don't really do, but when I do, I like to apply it with a wetter brush just to get that more um, glowy, going out like glam look. But for every day, I really just enjoy it to just put it on, just like that. And this is a pretty good highlighter on its own anyways. And I just highlight. Yeah, I really like to apply it to the tip of my nose, um, my the bridge and my cupid's bow and my chin a little bit. I also really like to do it right over here. I don't know why, but when you turn to the side, it gives you such a nice, I don't know, little glow. Um, it's like faking a dewy look for oily skin people who need to use matte products all the time. Um, and then for some reason, I don't know why, but I like to apply it right here I feel like it gives you that like hollowed out type of look and it also highlights the brow bone at the same time I just like the way it looks I think it looks cute it has so much fallout by the way this product so just be careful with that because it's literally all over my desk right now And that's all the highlight I do. So before I put any mascara or fake eyelashes, I like to set my face. So I'm gonna be using the Morphe Setting Spray, Setting Mist. I don't know. This is just the one that I use a lot. And I'm just gonna spray my face with this. One of the last things I do is mascara. So I will curl my lashes just with an eyelash curler. Um, I do not have nice eyelashes. Uh, I never really have. They're very short and very thin. Um, so I do like to go and what not. Well, I do like to wear false lashes. Um, just a personal thing. You obviously don't have to do this. If you have nice eyelashes, if you love your eyelashes, just wear your mascara. It's chill. Um, but just for me personally, I need to wear fake eyelashes. Um, and unfortunately, I cannot have eyelash extensions either. I have really sensitive skin, just sensitive eyes, and I just know that I'll have the worst reaction ever. So I don't even want to risk it. So that is why I personally wear fake eyelashes. But I feel like in quarantine, my eyelashes have gotten a little bit a little bit nicer just because I'm constantly not having to pull off false eyelashes now because I don't really wear them anymore because I'm inside and the mascara I used is the L'Oreal Carbon Black mascara so I'm just gonna pop on my uh, false lashes everything's gonna be linked down below I know I get so many questions about my eyelashes um, the glue I use is the just the duo lash glue and I'm just gonna pop these on off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so lashes are on and the last step is lipstick. So today I'm gonna be using the ColourPop um, lipstick. Looks like this. It's really cute. Again, it's from the Kathleen Lights um, Zodiac collection. It's in the shade What's Your Sign. I'm not sure if they still have this, but it's just a, a nude lipstick and it's kind of creamy. So I like to use this and I'm just gonna go in with this. And then on top of that, I'm going to add some lip gloss. So I'm just going to take the Fenty Beauty lip gloss. Um, it says gloss bomb. It says Fenty Glow. I don't know which one this is, but it's this one. And I'm just going to go over that. And there's that. Okay, I'm just going to take these... Uh, clips out I actually ended up I don't know if you guys noticed but I cut my hair in quarantine by myself so the ends are a lot healthier now um, I don't know if you could tell but they used to be like down to here and they were really dead 
and just really unhealthy so i decided that i was gonna cut them um i probably should have filmed i know that like a lot of people probably would have wanted me to film that but to be honest with you to like be completely real with you here i was having a mental breakdown <laughs> while cutting my hair like i was like sobbing uh crying because that's what happens sometimes you know it's life it happens people have breakdowns and i decided in the heat of the moment to just cut my hair off uh i did not use professional hair scissors <laughs> i didn't use any type of techniques i didn't watch a tutorial i kind of just really cut it and i understand that that is so bad and you probably shouldn't do that but i was really i was in a mood and I decided to do it and I'm actually lucky it turned out the way it did um, I was thinking of going a bit shorter this time um, because I actually really like it it feels really healthy again um, I know there's a lot of people that were concerned about my hair in previous videos saying that I should probably cut it and I was aware, trust me uh, I actually had an appointment to get my hair dyed and cut again but obviously with everything going on those appointments were cancelled just like all my orthodontist appointments all my dentist appointments i'm sure everybody's appointments are cancelled until who knows when so i just decided one day i was like i am going to cut my own hair and i did and i don't regret it it's great <laughs> So yeah, well, that concludes the end of this video. I really hope everyone is staying safe, healthy, and happy in these really hard times. I understand it can be really difficult. Believe me, I'm struggling <laughs> just like everyone else. Um, so yeah, I really hope everyone's okay and everyone's doing well. And I really hope my video has provided some type of uh, distraction or happiness to you. That is the goal of all of my videos to provide I don't know kindness and happiness to everyone i also really really wanted to say thank you so so much for all the love and support i've received in previous videos i'm honestly overwhelmed by it it's incredible and thank you so much to those of you who have reached out to me on instagram or um just in the comment section i really enjoy talking to you guys it literally brings such joy and happiness to my days um and i literally i try my best to reply to every single comment so i just wanted to say thank you so much it literally means the entire world to me and don't be afraid to message me on instagram i know a lot of people are like oh my god i'm so sorry for bothering you but it's not a bother at all i promise you um i really enjoy it it's so fun for me so yes also uh quickly i just wanted to say that my very talented cousin has actually created an instagram filter for me on um instagram obviously so if you wanted to try that out or see what it looks like it's going to be in on my instagram so just head over to my instagram uh, i think i have a highlight called youtube and it should be in there and you can try out my filter and please tag me in it it would mean the world to me i would love to put you on my story um so yeah Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, that's it. Bye.